okay guys uh, first of all welcome welcome to the channel of math and science okay that's world of math and science of course and I'm sure pretty sure that you have heard the first series of it or the first lecture of it it's a small lecture about how to be in a flow quadrant okay and if you're in the flow quadrant you're at the right quadrant let's learn further about the maths okay so anytime anyone feel maths is a creative or is it just non-creative it's just pain to learn you will learn simple expressions one after other teacher goes on explaining don't you feel it sometimes uh, what is this it's just writing equations all equations it can't be creative yes it can be creative there are ways okay and we're going to find those ways today okay to start with let me tell you like you know uh, more of a math teaching become what? Uh, giving a problem, template problem, and a template solution for it. What it proves? You fit the student in a template and a solution kind of a thing. It doesn't take a student behind the template. You know, not out box thinking, just in box thinking. Think this is problem, this is solution. This is problem, this is solution. What if the problem come out of solution, out of box? Nothing. Okay. So we, I'm just giving you one small problem here, okay? See this. Uh, see this diagram? You see this diagram? Oh, awesome. Okay, this diagram says there's one L shape and we're trying to fit this L shape in 16 squares. Ah, you got it, 16 squares, right? And these are exactly fit, like four L's are fit into the 16 squares. It's easy to solve, right? What happens? I change this number to 32, 64, 128, and cut out some of the blacks. So I cut out of two, two of the this corner squares. What will happen to the L shape? Will all shape will get fit or not fit? It's difficult to think. Think of it. The basic idea is to fill any of those boxes with the L. We need two boxes with circle and two empty boxes without circle. Okay? If you know this idea, you got the solution. Think of it. Try yourself. Okay? Anyhow, you do it for 64 numbers, something will fill completely. If you do it for 62, cut out two circles, then it will be only a two boxes which will remain separated. Okay? Not complicating the things. You have to think to apply the problem even if the template problem is given out of box problem okay that's luck just think of it be creative have a record to take a if you want thank you guys so this is one fact you know how about uh, being uh, how about being logical how important being logical in maths what do you think most important right you have to come out of a Communication, like you know, something you understand in the maths, but you're not able to explain. Why is it so? Because you never challenge a system of maths or a question. In science, we can challenge the questions, right? Like we can do experiment and we found it. But maths, what's the argument factor here? Only one man. Okay, only one in math. That is what logical argument. Okay. So I'm going to show you another problem here. Can you see this problem? Okay, as 1 by 3 is equal to 0 0.003, 3 star 1, 3, that is 3 multiplication by 1 by 3, is 3 by 3 is equal to 1, and same if we do for the point zero, sorry, point three three three, multiply by 3, point nine 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 many times, and 1 is equal to 0 0.999. That's what one student has proved. How simple it is. Which I just got convinced in 30 seconds. My friends got convinced in 30 seconds. Yes, it is right. He's saying right. That's what is called a quality of approximations. You get approximately right to the solution. That's the beauty of approximation. That's the quality which students should think. Think logically. Every step connect to the next step. This step connect to the next step, next step, next step. There's no flaw. You are perfect at the logic. Logic is missing in maths, then there's no chances to learn. See another example here. Somebody argued 1 is equal to 2. Let's say x is equal to 0. 
he said 1 dot x is equal to 2 dot x. Agreed? 1 dot x is equal to 2 dx, dot x. Divide by x. 1 is equal to 2. He's very happy. He's dancing like he's proved. Wait a minute. What you approved? Dividing by 0 is good. Ah, oh, that's a big problem. Dividing by 0. I mean, dividing by nothing. To divide, to divide by something. Like we have something and you want to divide by nothing. What's it? Does it make sense? For me, no. For you? Of course, no. What's the solution then? There is a flaw. This logic cannot be accepted. You have to challenge your teacher, your educators, your individual who is teaching you. Why this? Just because in text textbook or just because it is rule, you are not going to challenge. That's wrong. You have to challenge, challenge, challenge. Ask question. Not what, but why. That will make our next generation more peaceful, more happy, and more th thoughtful. So to connect the next generation, to solve for any variable, you have to make empower that connection and make student-to-student -student connections. That's not easy. But think of these problems which I have shown you. Think of this out of box. Think of the logical reasoning. Think of law in a critical thinking. So you have to be right on your critical thinking. That's what empowers you maths. Be creative. And there is another thing to be creative. Take any challenge problem. Take the tools from the right people to solve the problem. Then identify, find yourself, the logic of the problem. After you find the logic of the problem, solve the problem. And the final and most creative way is to explain a problem as if nobody knows the solution and nobody knows the exact problem. So give them understanding a bit of problem and bit of solution and how it solve the purpose. That's how we are going to solve every variable every variable problem and every out-of-box problem. So always think of why more than what, okay? Why it is like that. That's what will help you to solve the problem in maths. Hope you enjoyed this series, of this particular lecture. You learn something, keep learning, keep happy and discover your own way of learning in maths and science. That's what my world is. And I want to share my world with you all. All the best for your studies. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.